All right, uh, would you all please rise and join me for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This is the uh, public hearing on the 2019 Neighborhood Assistance Act program to uh, hear and consider the uh, applications that have been presented. Uh, for the record, we have uh, from council present Ms. Aguilar, Ms. Martin, Ms. Lapellis, myself, uh, Mr. Formicella, and by way of uh, telecommunications, uh, Jason Maurer, and Mr. Kellogg is also present. Uh, so the purpose of this hearing is to receive input from the uh, public and applicants on the application. So uh, with that, uh, I'm not sure how you uh, intend to proceed, Mr. Kellogg. Uh, so I, would, I guess I'll just preface with this uh, public hearing is a uh, requirement under the state, uh, state program right. uh, to, to have this uh, public hearing. Um, subsequent to that, of course, uh, as you know, it's on your... Uh, council agenda for later this evening right. to actually uh, formally uh, make a recommendation, uh, which would allow me to submit the um, submit the application to the state for consideration. Okay. So, um, with that said, I know we have representatives from each uh, application here. Uh, uh, I have no uh, no particular preference. I don't know if you did. So we start just with as they are in order. So the first sure. one we have is the uh, Monroe Playground Foundation. If you, uh, you can speak from wherever you'd like, but we just need your names and uh, addresses so the record is complete. And we like uh, we love we love visuals, so that looks good. Okay. Floor is yours. Uh, Dan Keen, Chairman of the Monroe Playground Foundation. There we go. Uh, Keen, K E E N, 122 Swenson Drive. Swenson. Swenson. Yeah. S W E N S W E N D S E N. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> she's, in the, she's in the process. She's, she has a little bit more. Yeah, there's this. All right, let's move on. Uh, so we've made a lot of progress. Uh, since I last spoke with you last year, uh, we had just gotten our 501c3 status last year. Uh, since then, we've been fundraising and working through our design. And so uh, just to give everybody a little bit of an update, we have this... Uh, Rendering that our uh, partner, Levins and Associates, who is uh, designing the playground, uh, put together for us. Um, we also have copies and booklets that uh, if I can pull up here. Sure. So, uh, yes, so, so, uh, so, so <laughs> Teresa can give you guys more details specifically about what's in here. Uh, but the coolest thing that I like about this is that this was designed by the kids of Monroe. One of the programs we did towards the end of last year uh, is we held what's called Design Day, which is a program start, uh, started by Leathers and Associates, where you actually go into the elementary schools in town, and they meet with every single class to gather their ideas on what goes into the playground, uh, what should go into the playground. And so coming out of that, every one of the things that's on here came out of a suggestion that was somebody in town. So this is truly uh, Monroe's playground versus going to a vendor and saying, hey, you know, um, you know, what pieces do you have? So Teresa, I don't know if you want to highlight some of the things sure. on the and thing here. Yeah, I'll be your easel. Um, <laughs> interestingly, the kids really feel like they have a part of this. They have ownership of it. There was a little boy, we had this hanging up at our event on yesterday, and a little boy came up and he's like, you actually, you took, you took, you used some of my ideas. And we're like, oh, that's great, buddy. He's like, yeah, I put those peaks on top there. <laughs> it's so cool. We're like, yeah, we, he's like, that's great. I was like, great. Um, but we really did. We looked at all the different designs that everybody gave us, and we took some of their ideas. Uh, one of the biggest communities we listened to, though, was our uh, special needs and accessibility uh, community. And from what we heard, resoundingly, was please have all of our children incorporated into the design, incorporated into the play area. Please don't have them segregated over to some back corner where they just play and swing alone. Have them be a part of everything. Let them be able to hear 
the sounds of the kids whizzing by and be really submerged into the play. And, and so we decided to, this is a playground for Monroe, this is a playground for everyone. And so you'll notice on the design, a focal point when you first enter into our new playground will be, it's called Ability World. And this merry-go-round-ish little swing thing um, has room for everyone. You can be standing on it. You can be swinging around on it. You can have a grandparent sit in the seat and you can have a wheelchair wheeled in and locked in. It's a playground that everybody can use no matter what kind of play they like. So if you continue past the Ability World, you'll see this brightly colored little design on the flooring and that's not just shapes. It is um, meant for children. A lot of times uh, that may be on the autism spectrum, they might need a little bit different play. They might need a little bit more um, sensory um, play. And so that's a sensory obstacle course. And they can take some time even by themselves. It doesn't, being on this playground doesn't mean you have to be even chasing your friends up on the walk wall in here. You can play anywhere you like. You can play however you like. And um, those are two very important things to us. With that is the reason for the different surfacing. Those two things are required. The, the surfacing is required for those two things. And so that is why we have, instead of wood chips, in our design, it is port in place surfacing. Um, and which did, that is why, did you have a budget? Mm -hmm. that, that, you. that is why our budget did increase it was the cost of the surfacing. Um, we decided to go in at the beginning with what does our community want? Let's shoot for that. Not the other way around where we were saying, okay, well, this is what we can do, and if we get more later, we'll figure it out. Now we're like, no, we're, we're gonna get the playground that everybody in our community is looking for, including the lovely parents that wanna watch their children. We have a little parent lookout. I tend to let my children just run loose and pretend they're not there. But there's a parent lookout for those lovely responsible parents like Dan Keene, who would like to supervise his children and have a lovely place to sit. Um, also, the very special thing about our playground that we really wanted to make sure we highlighted was Monroe, and Monroe is a town. And so we have not just a rock wall, we have the, I never say it right. Penequinoc? Pen pen oh, pen that's, you said it works. <laughs> okay. Paquonic. I guess I should say. Yes. The Paquonic <laughs> River rock wall. We have the Stepney Depot training station over here with a little train. We have the Monroe Fire Department fire truck. Um, and really those are the special, unique to Monroe things of the design. You see that our castle below here, the peak, looks like a tree. And Wolf Park is surrounded by trees. It was really important to keep the natural setting and the natural colors so that it really, you know, matched the surroundings. <clears throat> oh, and we're keeping in a little place of honor over here our lovely SS Pulliam boat that will be um, saved and moved to the front. Yeah, we're also looking to incorporate, we're not sure yet, um, the original committee signs and keeping them up front, restoring them in some manner so that we can honor both 92 and the new one. So we've been working mainly on grassroots fundraising for the last year or so, and we're really moving into our corporate fundraising now that we've got a design, a components list, and things like that. And the NAA grant uh, helps us because we'll be able to offer C corporations a tax credit even for sponsoring a component. We've talked to our accountants and things like that. That's something we'll be able to offer as part of our fundraising package. Thank you very much. Questions? So, so are you going out and out of from Monroe to find these corporations? We're trying we're trying to work both in Monroe and, and out of Monroe. So even um, companies like some of them have different grant programs, others are just straight donations, but even companies um, like Sikorsky are companies that give where their employees live. And that's just an example. We have nothing to do with that. But um, there are corporations where they do give where their employees live, and so we will be now that we're a little bit more settled this year. Maybe UTC yeah. wants to leave a footprint in Connecticut before they leave <laughs> Boston. Yeah. Hmm? Sorry. Anybody else? I have a question. Yeah, John, please. I was going to say. We had a white logo that way. <laughs> I have a question. Yes, yeah. Um Completion by 2020? Spring 2020. 
Yeah. Our, new, our new, it was, we were hoping for fall uh, 2019, um, thinking it was a fall build, we'll have a fall build, but at this point we've moved it to spring as more realistic. It's really, it's driven by fundraising. Yeah. Right? As soon as yeah. we can raise I, the money, yeah. we're going to try it. So I have a question about that. Mm -hmm. So it went up in price for the for the floor, but it went up in price also for the time, right? For no. The, no, 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 just for the floor. Yeah, it's really okay, and it won't go up in price because there is if a possibility, it takes more time. like you guys all know, with bids and things like right. that, it could be a little bit of a differential, but they don't anticipate um, a huge difference. It's not a magnitude difference. It's yeah. Okay, so was it still two hundred and fifty thousand like the first time I no. read about no. it? No, so no. that was. Yeah, 92's pricing's gone up a little bit, and with the surfacing, you're looking at uh, four. 400. 400,000. Yes. Your playground stuff is remarkably expensive. So this this 400 price tag, is that with everything here Yeah, included? so those are sponsorships. Those aren't actual pricing information. That's like um, recommended sponsorship levels. So a, a thing there might really be more than that, but that's just. But that'll mm -hmm. cover that's a lot of it. Sponsor it. We yeah, okay. Okay. So a bench doesn't cost us a thousand dollars, but it is the level what would you need to sponsor to get your name in the Okay. Okay. So if you're to, if you were to sponsor the surfacing, are you gonna superimpose a company's name in the surfacing? Is that what it's gonna be? No. Like? No. Um as I know you have another thing coming right. forward to you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um as a group, however, uh it was also very important to us, regardless of what the town wants, that it was really important to us to make sure that this is still a bigger for everyone and we wouldn't want piecemeal all sorts of, you know, it's not, we want a tasteful, you can see on there they have a, a rendering, and that's not to say that's what it would look like, but to the left side of the entrance there is a donor board. So it's about the size of a doorway, which is bigger than the two by threes that we have currently. Um, but no, it would be um, tastefully done. And some of the larger, we've talked to a couple of larger um, donor people and they were like, that's not what's important to us, we give because right. it's the right thing to do. We call it like the, the NPR model of sponsorship, if you will, right? It's not a big gaudy logo, it's right. more like, you know, this program is brought to you by. Yep. No, I think that's the right move. Yeah. Uh, anybody else? Any members of the public have any questions? So the lifeline of the playground itself, they say, could go for 50 years or more. It's uh, the, the lumber, if you will, is all made of recycled milk jugs. And we've had just some math on like the number of milk jugs that are pulled out of the waste stream in order to build uh, this playground. But it's a super durable material that should last for a very long time. The surfacing itself has about a 10-year lifespan, just like the track up in the Where we'll have to be. Um, I don't think it's a full. I could. Get We'll get more details on that, but it's, I don't think it's a full, at least I think it's similar to the turf where it's like the carpeting, how it's just um, part of it. And also what was really important to us was that the reason we went in and became the Monroe Playground Foundation as opposed to the creation group or whatever, um, was so that we can stay in existence um, beyond this and be able to give back to this playground for maintenance, but also take on other projects. So, do we talk about milk jugs, like the gallon yep. milk? Yep, exactly. Because I've seen them in Africa, where people are very poor. They cut a piece out, and that becomes the like a shovel. And they'll actually calculate and let you know how many milk jugs. So, we just started our kickstart program, and we're really excited about how much money have you raised so far? Right now, we are at about fifty-five thousand. Got a long road to home. We do, but that's also all been through grassroots yeah. only right. fundraising, yeah. no sponsorships yeah. yet. So we so. just we have our component list now. Um, we have more fundraising people in place, and so the first year was a lot of fun IRS stuff and becoming a group ourselves, getting to know all of ourselves, realizing I think a little bit for some people what they got themselves into, and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, we're having fun and we're yeah. really excited. No, it's, yeah. it, it's a laudable project because I was on the project 30 yeah. years ago mm -hmm. when we did the original one. And then my MRA kept on, we stained it every yeah. year. Mm -hmm. And that saved them money. Anybody well, else? you're doing a great job. Yesterday, yeah. was, yesterday was awesome, I heard. I wish fun I had little kids. It's yeah. a good event. Well, thank you for all your efforts. Yeah, and, uh, thank you. I'm sure we'll be hearing from you along the way. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Thank you.
keep us updated. Yeah, yeah, Mrs. Martin's right. Please come in. All right. Um, next, we have the uh, submission from the uh, town below for the food pantry. Slakiona. <coughs> Welcome. The is yours. She's the director of uh, social oh. services here, so oh. Oh. she's an employee of the town. Okay. It's okay. I don't care, do you? No, I'm, oh, I didn't expect you to know. I'm just uh, like making my voice heard like I typically do. <laughs> <laughs> he gets paid by the word. <laughs> Four is yours. Self-explanatory. Are, yep. yeah. are there any questions, <laughs> comments? Right. <laughs> so you're looking for twenty thousand yeah. dollars. Right. That's uh, comparable to what we we've been doing um, this year. We're a little bit above that. That's great. Did 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 you apply for this last year? No, I know you. Yeah, I did not. Okay. No. Well, this would be great. I believe Ms. Yeager did put an yes. application. Yeah, I thought, I thought, but I wasn't sure what department she applied for. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank, thank you. Last, we have, uh, again, the uh, Conservation and Water Resources Commission. Yes. Yeah, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Would you just mind making sure there's no one from the public has anything to I did. speak? Uh, oh, did you? I did ask. Yeah, I didn't I'm see sorry. Anything. I missed it. My apologies. Um, I can tell you I'm a volunteer there. I'm a resident here in Monroe. Amy does a great job of managing. They do an effective job of uh, handing out food. Um, this is not a brand, you know, no, right. no questions. Thank you very much. Anybody else? No? Should we get his name? Because it should go on the record. Right. Just got it. <laughs> <laughs> you need it? Yeah. Sir, can you give your name, please? My name is Rick Smith. Thank you. Nice, nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. I'm still asking you to spell that. <laughs> Conservation and Water Resources, we have a request for uh, $2,000. The floor is yours. Karen from ASCA, do you have an ASK rate? I'm in the bedroom work. You're going to get yelled at if you don't know who she is. Cheers. 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 And if you 
have these specific garden questions. Barbara is the master gardener. Oh, that's right. He's right yeah. into the brawn, basically, behind this. And most of the are all the That's so fine. Nice. Thank you so much. Great. Thank, Thank you. Yes, we're very happy that the playground room put the Pawnee River. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Any questions, comments mm -hmm. from council or the mm -hmm. general public? All right, seeing none, uh, are there any other applications? There are not. Okay, so I will, uh, absent objection, close the public hearing. Uh, 31. Mm -hmm. 8 o'clock, town council. We'll see you all shortly.